I'll need to record today's notes in the databank. Oh, you must be Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Uh, hey, that's not very polite. <laughs> it's fine. You aren't the first guest to have that reaction. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big from nothing. Eventually, he actually did it. Have you seen that stylish Goethe Hotel? Strictly speaking, it's a branch of this grand hotel. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg... He seems sincere. What do you guys think? even starting to sound like you. It has nothing to do with me. But if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. One of us should keep watch tonight. Uh, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess this is the cosmic wild west. <laughs> Uh, anyone else sleepy? Uh, no, I don't! Oh. Uh, besides, I've never pulled an all-nighter before. Do you know how bad it is for your skin? I'll keep watch. Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. Doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a Silvermane guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. Silvermane guards have a lot to make amends for down here. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Kokolia, oh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Go and rest. I lost her. My wish. Your so-called plan. What is the point of it all? Your grief. So. A plan to live. So. 
silence! She is my daughter. My only... You soulless thing. How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never! That voice again. Such a strange dream. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. Who goes there? Show yourself! Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? Mm, I understand. The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Is he your leader? I feel he possesses a great stillness of mind in everything he does. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you, some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to remind me. And I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, Overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open. But the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the Underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman Guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. You mean... What was I thinking? No, I shouldn't. That was a diabolical thought. <sighs> The more I think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while.
I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place, with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, uh, the quieter things are around you, the louder- I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still? Whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. Walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Hey, come on now. Zila's got a sharp tongue but a soft heart. She didn't mean anything. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Somehow. <sighs> the situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anchor isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up. I never said you could join us. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. 
Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful, don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. 